I want to talk a little bit about how a common mode current choke works. And so right here we have our dipole antenna. And down here we have the coax, so that's the shield. And the center line is where the signal travels. And the shield is grounded here. And here you would have your radio or receiver. So just to make it uh, transfer it over to our common mode button here, I marked the wires as red and green. So the red we just take for our center conductor on the coax that goes to one side of the dipole and green goes to the shield of the coax and the other side of the dipole. So in normal operation, the current, what we are dealing here with is AC current, of course. So the current goes up the red wire and back to the transmitter again on the green wire and vice versa. It switches back and forth depending on the frequency that you're working on. So if you go ahead and look at the right hand rule, Right here, I drew the wires again. So here we have the red wire coming out right on, on top. If we're looking like we're just taking this one section here where the red wire comes out and the green wire comes out there. Just to simplify it, just talk about one section. So there we have the ferrite core and there we have the wires in both cases, it goes right here over the core coming from the inside out. So at any instance, we're just taking an instance of time where the current goes up on the red one and down on the green one. So if we take our right hand, point the thumb in the direction of the current, we did learn that the magnetic field goes this way. So right here, the current from the red wire creates a magnetic field pointing this way. And the same current goes down the green wire and it creates an equal amount of magnetic field that way. So the two magnetic fields cancel out each other out. And that's the reason why we don't lose anything if we use our current balance for transmitting or receiving. So right now we have it calibrated, there's nothing in between. So if you go ahead and hook it up, one sec. So I went ahead and hooked it up so that our center conductor is on the red wire to the dipole and the shield is on the green wire to the dipole. And since this is a closed circuit, as we are mentioning here, the magnetic field is cancelled and so we don't have an inductor effect. And therefore, on our spectrum analyzer, we can see that through our whole frequency, uh, this goes now up to 100 megahertz, but already here, that's where HF ends, where the point one is, that is um, our 50, uh, 45 megahertz oops sorry or oh, 45 megahertz so it's totally flat across there and exactly what we would want so now the common mode current that is transmitted on the outside of the shield so if you're looking back here at our setup so that current is what's traveling on the shield only not on the center conductor so that's not a closed circuit across our ferrite core here. So what happens now with that is we have a current going up by our right hand rule. Oh, sorry, that would be the red one. So a current going up on the green or going down, doesn't matter, on the green 
side but no current on the red side so this will doesn't exist and therefore this magnetic field doesn't exist so now we have a magnetic field that doesn't cancel if it were DC nobody would care however since we are working with AC we have we create something called an inductor here and if you looked at our inductor uh, inductor resist changes so because we are switching the direction of the magnetic field that resists the current flow through here and because of that resistance we lose a signal in our ferrite core our common mode jo joke and that's exactly what we want again if we have a current flowing this way and a current flowing out here we have two magnetic fields that cancel each other and because the magnetic field cancel each other a change in flow of the current so if we have the AC here now all of a sudden this side helps out that side with the magnetic field change and therefore we don't have the inductor effect so let me hook this up and show you again. So here we have the common mode current coming from our tracking generator on the outside of the shield, which is the green wire, through the ferrite core to our transceiver on the outside of the shield. And if you look right up here, we see that we have a signal loss across a decent amount of our HF frequency and that's exactly what we want we want to reduce the common mode current that is distortion from our RF signal that we don't care about